Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. Moving on to another question dealing with negative and zero exponents. So we gotta take each of these expressions here and we have to evaluate them. So starting with part A, we got five to the power zero plus five to the power negative two. Now notice that there is an addition or a subtraction in the middle of these. And so before addition or subtraction, according to MedMass, what we have to do is we have to deal with the exponents. So we have an exponential expression here, an exponential expression there. So let's do that first. So what's five to the power zero? Well, that's just gonna be one. And then over here, we have plus five to the negative two. Now five to the negative two, we can rewrite that as one over five to the power of positive two, right? This and this, they're the exact same thing. And then from here, we can evaluate it. So we'd still have that one plus, we still gotta do this exponent. So we'd have one over 25 like that. So five to the power negative two is the exact same as one over 25. And now notice that we have it as just a regular fraction. And so we could add these by getting a common denominator, multiply this by 25, multiply this by 25. So we'd have 25 over 25 plus one over 25, which would give us 26 over 25 like that. So that right there ends up being the answer to uh, part A. And if you get the time, if you get something like this on the test, you could check your answer. You could plug this into your calculator. It'll probably give you a decimal value. And you could plug this in also will be a decimal value, 26 divided by 25. And you could just make sure that those values are the same. Moving on to part B, we got six minus six to the negative one. So same thing over here, the six, let's just keep as it is. And then over here, we got to work with this exponential expression. So six to the power of negative one is one over six to the power of positive one, which is just one over six like that. And then we can evaluate this, the six is over one. Lowest common denominator between one and six is six, six, six. So we'd end up with 36 over six, which is the same as six minus one over six. And that would give us 35 over six, right? So that ends up being the answer to part B. Uh, moving on to part C, we got five plus two in brackets to the power of zero. Now before exponents in bed mass, we got to work with brackets. So we actually have to evaluate this portion first. And then within the bracket, there's addition. So we'd have five plus two, which would give us seven. And then we'd have it to the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is just one. Over here, notice that Similar, but not really because now each of these, there's no bracket, but each of these has that exponent zero. So in this case, there's no bracket. So we'd have to deal with the exponential terms first. So five to the power of zero is one, two to the power of zero is one. And so this here would equal two. And so notice that these and these are not the same. So just as a quick note, if you end up having something like that, whether it's plus or minus over here, this does not equal this. It's a common mistake that students make, uh, plus or minus there, right? If we're multiplying, then you could split it up, okay? This here is a rule, or if you're dividing, right? If you have a fraction to an exponent, you could take the numerator and denominator to that exponent. So these two are rules, but if you're adding within brackets to an exponent, you can't just take that exponent and put it on each of those terms and then put that addition or subtraction in the middle. And we just prove that right here. Notice here we got one, over here we ended up with two. And that would work with um, whatever exponent you would use right there. Okay, and then moving on finally to part E. So we got two to the power of negative two minus two to the power of negative three. So we gotta deal with the exponents first. So we write this as one over two to the power of positive two minus one over two to the power of positive three. So this would end up being one over four minus one over 
8, like that. And then common denominator between this would be 8, between 4 and 8. Well, this common denominator is 8, so we multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2. So we'd have 2 over 8 minus 1 over 8, which would give us 1 over 8, like that. All right, so when you get questions like this, just be very careful with your bed math.